Global leaders work tirelessly to engineer a conflict so intractable that it could last indefinitely with a near constant stream of entertaining destruction for many generations to come. Japan's nuclear regulator says a new entity is needed to operate a troubled prototype reactor. The Nuclear Regulation Authority has called on the Science and Technology Ministry to find a replacement, the first recommendation of its kind. If a new operator cannot be found, the ministry may have to scrap the facility. The fate of the reactor is likely to have a significant impact on the country's nuclear policy. The Monju Fast Breeder Reactor is located in Suruga in Fukui Prefecture on the Japan seacoast. It was meant to play a key role in plans to recycle Japan's nuclear fuel. Spent nuclear fuel from conventional nuclear power plants contains plutonium, which can be used as fuel in the Monju reactor. And what's seemingly good about the design is that it can produce more plutonium than it consumes. The reactor runs on uranium-plutonium mixed oxide, or MOX fuel, which is created by reprocessing spent fuel from other reactors. More than $8 billion has been spent to create and operate the prototype. When trial operations started in 1994, it was hailed as an answer to the problem of what to do with spent fuel from other reactors. But a number of safety issues have cast a shadow over the project. In 1995, a leak of sodium used to cool the reactor led to operations being halted. It was later revealed that videotapes from immediately after the leak had been concealed to cover up the extent of the accident. The organization in charge of the facility at the time, Power Reactor and Nuclear Fuel Development Corporation, was the target of public criticism and is now defunct. After two shakeups, the Japan Atomic Energy Agency was put in charge of the reactor in 2005. In 2010, the first test runs in 14 years began. Three months later, a piece of equipment weighing over three tons fell into the reactor and couldn't be removed. Due to the seemingly endless problems, the reactor has never gone into full operation. On Friday, Nuclear Regulation Authority Chairman Shunichi Tanaka delivered the regulator's written recommendation to Science and Technology Minister Hiroshi Hase. It urges the ministry to designate a new operator within six months. It says the Japan Atomic Energy Agency is unfit to operate the facility safely. This issue is closely related to the country's basic nuclear policy. So my ministry will work together with other government offices to decide how to respond to the recommendation. Our core mission is to take all necessary measures to ensure safety, protect people's lives, and preserve the environment in a consistent manner, no matter who we are dealing with. <laughs> oh, man. You, you sounded so sincere when you were saying that. That was really great. The recommendation is not legally binding, but the Science and Technology Ministry may have to consider scrapping the prototype if a new operator is not found within six months. Japanese nuclear watchdogs are once again setting their sights on a facility with a long history of trouble. They want to question the head of the operator of a fast breeder reactor in central Japan over safety concerns. Officials at the Nuclear Regulation Authority conduct regular inspections of the Monju reactor. They revealed that in August, they found at least 3,000 mistakes with safety classifications. They said equipment and devices of high importance were among those ranked lower. And they suggested the operator, Japan Atomic Energy Agency, might not have carried out necessary inspections for them. The NRA officials said the operator handled data poorly, so they were unable to grasp the exact nature of the problems. Some said no one would trust the operator because there have been so many problems. NRA Chairman Shuichi Tanaka said the matter would cast doubt on whether the operator is qualified. Safety is our top priority, but considering the present situation, the reactor is far from safe. The Monju prototype reactor began operating in the early 90s but it was forced to shut down in 1995 after a sodium leak. 
The reactor was brought back online on a trial basis in 2010, but was halted due to further problems. NRA commissioners suggested a ban on test runs would remain in place. The operator pledged to continue to improve its procedures, putting the top priority on safety. purpose in this army to do whatever you tell my drill sergeant nuclear power plants across japan are holding massive stockpiles of spent fuel while the government struggles with recycling methods now researchers say it's technically feasible to simply dispose of it as waste what the fuck engineers at the japan atomic energy agency analyzed the possible environmental impact of burring spent fuel the engineers made projections for fuel stored 1,000 meters below the surface. They say that over a time frame of one million years, radiation at ground level would be highest after 3,000 years, then subside. What the fuck? But they say even the peak would be considerably low. What the fuck? Government officials have planned two different recycling methods. The first is to extract plutonium from spent nuclear fuel, mix it with uranium, and produce MOX fuel. We felt that putting our users in mortal danger for a quick buck was the right move. That byproduct could then be used for nuclear power generation. But a plant set up in northern Japan to reprocess spent fuel has yet to start full-fledged operations. The second method is to extract plutonium and use it in a fast breeder reactor. What the fuck? But a prototype facility built in central Japan is idle. It has faced technical problems and missed inspections. Nuclear facilities across the country have stored a combined 17,000 tons of spent fuel. The new method outlined in the report is the first from scientists involving treating spent fuel as a waste, not a resource. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Nuclear authorities are dealing with safety problems at another offline plant. The Monju fast breeder reactor is just three kilometers down the road from Tsuruga. Officials say the operator has failed to carry out safety checks. As a result, they are demanding that plants to, plans to restart the reactor be put on hold. Government officials inspected the Monju reactor last year. They found more than 9,800 missed checkups on equipment. The plant operator, Japan Atomic Energy Agency, later filed a report promising to improve safety procedures. But officials say the operator has yet to improve the situation. Meeting on Wednesday, the nuclear watchdog issued a harsh reprimand. <laughs> The real problem is that organizations like the Atomic Energy Agency still exist and are allowed to exist. NRA officials told the operator not to prepare for restarting the reactor until they can confirm the situation has improved. The officials say they will allow the Monju operator to respond before formally issuing the order. This, was likely, this will likely delay the reactor's restart until the end of next March. The head of the agency that operates the Monju Fast Breather Reactor has resigned. Officials at the Nuclear Authority said his organization had failed to carry out safety checks. Science and Technology Minister Hakobun Shimomura announced that Atsuyuki Suzuki will step down as president of the Japan Atomic Energy Agency, or JAEA. Shimomura said the operator's lax oversight was a breach of public trust. Government inspectors found JAEA failed to conduct more than 9,800 equipment inspections at the Munju reactor in central Japan last year. Shimomura said the ministry will select a successor. He pledged to work to regain public confidence. Now, Japanese leaders envisioned a future where they could sustain the country's energy needs with recycled fuel. They built the Mongju as a dream reactor that would generate more fuel than it consumed. Engineers started developing this type of reactor with the birth of Japan's nuclear program in the 1960s. Government leaders hoped to put the facility online by the early 1990s, but things didn't go according to plan. They pushed the deadline back each time they reviewed their nuclear policy. Finally, in 1994, the operator fired up the reactor. The following year, a sodium leak brought operations to a halt, and workers there continued to face problems. The operator put the facility back online in 2010, 
but during a test run, a fuel exchanger fell into the reactor vessel, and again the plant went offline. The people at Japan Atomic Energy Agency want to restart before next April. But regulators say the operator is unable to ensure the safety of the reactor. They've ordered workers to stop preparations to restart it. The government has spent more than 18 billion dollars on the facility, but government officials believe Monju won't be able to resume full-scale operations until around 2050. The expert panel of Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority has confirmed the ground beneath the power plant is unstable. Panel members say a reactor on the Sea of Japan coast sits on an active fault, and they say it's at risk should an earthquake strike. NHK World's Takafumi Terui reports. The experts reached their conclusion at a meeting on Wednesday. The findings wrap up their seismological study on the Tsuruga plant. The question is whether the newly found fault is active or not. In the final analysis, we conclude that it's an active one. Government's guideline ban plant operators from building reactors directly above active faults. That means if the panel's findings are upheld, the reactor could be shut down for good. The plant is currently offline. Nuclear Regulation Authority commissioners say they will decide their next step on the reactor as early as next week. The energy strategy also supports the recycling of spent nuclear fuel. The Abe administration's junior coalition partner has been urging the dismantling of a fast breeder reactor called Monju, but the plan maintains that it's aimed at obtaining research results. It adds that the re reactor serves as an international research base for reducing the volume and the toxicity of nuclear waste. Nuclear regulators are investigating newly uncovered cases of missed inspections at the Monju reactor. The plant's operation has repeatedly been suspended because of a sodium coolant leak and other problems. The Nuclear Regulation Authority prohibited the restart of the reactor last May after discovering that workers failed to conduct 14,000 safety checks. The Japan Atomic Energy Agency operates the plant. Last September, it announced that it had completed all inspections, but the regulators say they found other problems. They say workers overlooked at least nine items on a safety checklist, including a temperature gauge and a switch for a backup cooling pump. The Monja reactor first reached criticality in 1994, but its operation was suspended the following year. It's remained offline for more than 14 and years. A massive research Agency officials admit the series of actions were inappropriate and will investigate the accident. Thank you very much, everybody. A troubled, plagued uh, nuclear facility in central Japan is facing another setback after being offline for much of its 19-year history. Regulators have told the operator of the Mungju fast breeder reactor not to prepare to restart the unit until improvements have been made. Nuclear Regulation Authority officials gathered to approve an order they issued earlier this month. The prototype reactor generates power using plutonium extracted from spent nuclear fuel. A government inspection last Steer found about 10,000 missed equipment checks. A government inspection last year found about 10,000 missed equipment checks. What the fuck? Regulators criticized the Japan Atomic Energy Agency for inadequate safety management. They've ordered the operator to show improvements have been made before preparing to restart the reactor. The agency must implement a system that allows accurate checks of all equipment and ensures maintenance is carried out. It also has to review security measures to make sure safety is the top priority.